as you can tell, we're going to keep innovating in these core and foundational areas of the Domino platform. But while others in this space have been trying to catch up to us, we've been looking to the future. And we've been collaborating closely with our customers to come up with new and innovative features that are going to make all of us even more model driven. And that brings me to my final product announcement of the day, one I'm really excited about, and it's around model governance. If you use Domino, all of your data science work is in one place. And as you think about it, that provides you with an unprecedented opportunity to have transparency into your entire portfolio of data science work and that portfolio's health. Last fall, we shipped the Control Center. It was aimed at IT leaders, and it gave them visibility into compute usage and spend. Today, we're announcing a significant expansion of the Control Center with new features for data science leaders and frontline managers. In my role at Domino, I get to talk to data science leaders from all over the world. And I like to ask them a question. What keeps you up at night? And it's been very interesting. The answers they give me consistently fall into one of three categories. How many of you can relate to one of these? I need help tracking projects. I need help tracking production assets. And I need help establishing a culture of following best practices. To elaborate on that a bit, let me share a story that a vice president of analytics told to me back in January. He works at a uh, wealth management company. And his CEO asked him a very simple question. How many data science projects do you have in flight right now? By the way, how many of you could answer that question? He told his CEO, I think it's about 10 to 15, but I'm going to check and get back to you. He had to literally walk around his office, pen and notepad in hand, going person to person to conduct his survey. And guess how many projects he found at the end? 58. <laughs> he was shocked, and so was his CEO. So Avinash and I will now give you a live demo of these new features that I'm talking about for data science leaders in the control center. As a data science leader, I would start my day by looking at the project portfolio dashboard. Across the top, I presented with a list of my in-flight projects broken down by the stages in the data science lifecycle. And these stages are configurable to whatever matches my organization's lifecycle. I can scroll through this dashboard and quickly get status updates on all of my projects. I can filter on blocked projects and see that one of the blocked projects is the customer churn project that Avinash and Neola were working. To get a little bit more background, I can click on the activity feed and see what led up to this blocker being raised. Now that I have all this information, my bearings are straight, I'm going to suggest a course of action. I'm going to recommend that the customer churn team try a new modeling approach that they haven't tried yet, a deep net. I recently hired a deep learning expert, but she resides on another team. Her name is Sushmita. I'm going to tag her in a comment here and ask her to help mentor the customer churn team as they try to get better accuracy. As a data science leader, being able to see all my projects in one view to spot barriers to, to progress and remove those barriers is so important to me as I need to deliver on my commitment to our customers. Okay, that